did you miss me? I know you did because I missed you. And just like a fart, I can hardly hold in my excitement from being back. <laughs> now, of course, we're getting right back into my ratchet, ratchet tutorials. And we're going to do a rhinestone tumbler. Now, the first thing you want to do is sand your tumbler and spray paint it. But I've showed you that in so many videos that we don't need to do that. I let my tumbler dry overnight and then I took permanent vinyl. The keyword here is permanent, 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 just like my marriage with Bad Bunny. <laughs> so it's important that you use permanent vinyl because you don't ever want it to peel up. You want it to be as adhered as possible to your tumbler. So permanent, permanent, permanent. And I'm going to give you another little tip and not the kind of tip you get on a Saturday night. <laughs> The tip I'm going to give you is to use a hot glue gun. No, this is not a hot glue gun. What? To use a heat gun and apply more heat to your vinyl and then use like a paper towel or a towel or your fat sausage hand. I don't know, but apply pressure to it just to make them really adhere. Now, another tip that you should do, but I didn't do because to be quite honest, I could not find my sanding block. You would want to take a sanding block and just give your entire tumbler one light scuff one more time. Um, not enough to completely remove the spray paint, but you would just want to scuff up the spray paint a little bit and you would want to scuff up the vinyl a little bit. This is going to help your glue stick even better and it's just going to give you an even more long lasting product. So... I like to just put my um, super tight directly on my silicone mat. Also, a lot of people use those precision, precision, precision tip bottles to it, apply their glue. I like doing it this way. I just feel like I have more control of where I'm putting the glue, but you can obviously do whatever method is easiest for you. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life, he. but I like to use these silicone tip pens and I like to apply glue with those whenever I am applying rhinestones. I just think it works best for me. Uh, I started with my decal, my green decals. I did all of those first. Now, the best way that I can explain rhinestones to you, it's like playing Tetris. You are going to take stones of different sizes and you are going to put it in the place where it fits. And you're going to make them all fit like a puzzle. Now, this is very time consuming and I'm not a very patient person, but there's just something very satisfying about rhinestoning. Plus, I was watching Harry Potter, plus I was eating snacks, so I feel like I was fine. But if you do not want to feel your pimples growing and literally feel your gray hairs popping out of your head, maybe rhinestoning won't be for you. Wow, that was really negative. That was real. Oh, who, what? That was so negative. Delete that from your brain. But definitely, you do need to understand that rhinestoning is a process. Don't try to do it all in one day. You know, do little bits and pieces here and there. If you're very dedicated, you can probably get a rhinestone tumbler done in two to three days if you're like super dedicated. This probably was about 16 full hours of rhinestoning. And I'm not even going to lie to you. Okay, I'm not even going to lie to you. I did not get to 100% finish the tumbler because I ran out of rhinestones. What an amateur. Oh, I have to sneeze. One moment. Where was I? What an amateur. What an amateur issue for me to run out of rhinestones. I bought. So, okay, let me give you a recommendation. I recommend buying these little packs because they already come with a variety of rhinestones in pretty much most of the sizes that you're going to need. I'm going to be 100% honest. Um, this pack didn't have the teeniest size, which I don't want to give you wrong information, but I believe it's a SS3. I think the smallest size in this one was an SS6. And I like using SS3s because they really get into every little nook and crevice. So I'm going to go ahead and place an order for more rhinestones. And I'm going to order like two more of those variety packs. And then I'm going to see if they sell the SS3s individually. The SS3s are the teeny, teeny, tiny ones. Those are the ones that help your work look nice and tight. I was going to say something dirty, but I'm not. I'm getting better. I'm getting better. Um, but, you know, the smaller the stone, when, whenever you're doing scatter method, the cleaner that your work is going to be. I definitely got to some sections where I could not fit the SS6 and I was like, 
this little bald spot is going to drive me nuts, but I don't have a stone small enough. Anywho, let me tell you how we're going to do the rim just to make sure that we have a perfectly straight line of rhinestones. So what you're going to do is you're going to apply your rhinestone. Now you're doing scatter method, which means we're doing a whole bunch of different size stones in whatever place they fit. Again, the best example I can give you is Tetris. Well, you want to keep that same method on the rim and you want to do different size stones. And I'm going to give you the best tip in the world and not the kind of tip you get on Saturday nights. I'm going to give you the best tip in the world to keep that rim nice and straight. So first place all of your stones. And then when you're done, you're going to take your tumbler. You're going to place it upside down on the table. I'm going to show you in just a second what that's going to look like. And then once you have your tumbler laying completely flat on the table like my booty, you're going to take your little um, your little wax pen and you're going to use the, the metal side of it. And you're just going to kind of push down your stones so that they're laying flat against the table. This is going to make it so that you have a very straight line of rhinestones at the top. And then I place it over parchment paper and I just let them dry so that when I come back to continue to rhinestone, those stones are not going to move and it's not going to compromise my line. Now, I this tumbler does have a lid and you want to apply the same method. Anytime you're going to do an edge, you always want to do a straight line. So instead of you starting to do like the inside of the lid, you always want to start with the outside because if you get to the out to where you have to do the edges and you don't have enough size to put stones, your work is going to look really messy and it's not going to look it's not going to look professional. So just always make sure you do your edges first so that they're nice and straight. And then once they're dry and secure, then you can go ahead and fill in the inside. Now, I will have to show you guys the final product um, on my Instagram as well as I'll show it to you at the beginning of uh, Wednesday's video. Just because like I mentioned before, I ran out of stones and I don't I wasn't able to completely finish the product, but I feel like it's a very repetitive thing, so I'm going to show you how to do it anyway because you're still going to be able to recreate this. It doesn't matter that I didn't finish it. This is ghetto, honestly. I'm going to be real. I'm going I'm to be real. Like for, like for real, for real, the fact that I didn't finish my cup is a little ghetto, but we already know that this is the wish version of a YouTube I'm just a baby. I'm just a little tiny baby. I'm doing my best, okay? I'm doing my best. Listen, I'm a little rusty, okay? I've been traveling. It's been crazy. And this is my first time getting back on the saddle, getting back on the horse, you know? So I promise Wednesday's video is not going to be... And you know what? I shouldn't promise things that I can't keep. Probably Wednesday's video will also be ghetto and ratchet. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. But obviously you like it because you're here. Yeah. Okay, sorry. <laughs> well, one of the first things that I wanted to do was I wanted to go ahead and fill in the inside of the leopard spots and the inside of my word because I knew that I had limited amounts of the teeny, the t smallest stones, and I didn't want to risk running out of those. So I wanted to make sure that I started with these little complicated areas first and also working around you know, leopard spots and words it takes a little bit more time because you have to place your stones a little bit more precisely. It just takes a little more maneuvering. So I wanted to do this part of the tumbler first to get it out of the way because it was the most time consuming, but it is so satisfying to start to see your tumbler come to life. I can't even, t I can't even tell you. Also, if you're new to rhinestoning, you definitely always want to have a base color that matches your stones because that's going to make your work a lot more vibrant and beautiful. A lot of stones are iridescent. So if you don't prep your cup with the base color to match the stones, it's not going to look as good. Okay. And here's me using my silicone tip to spread the glue. Like I spread my cheeks on a Saturday. Hey, listen, in my defense, I always tell YouTube that my channel is not for kids. Okay. So if you've got your grandbabies or your kids or your Sancho's kids watching my videos with you, that's on you, boo-boo. You should know what you're here to do. You should know what it's going to be like when you come up in here, okay? I'm apologizing in advance. 
<laughs> not me wondering why I'm not at a million subscribers yet, but also me having a ratchet ass channel. <laughs> Did you miss me? Because I missed you so much. Also, how satisfying are these time lapses? Oh, let me tell you about this tumbler I'm using. Number one, Dino's tumblers, they're the nicest people ever. I met them in person at a convention, and let me tell you right now, the nicest people I have ever met. I'm absolutely in love with them, and before anybody says anything, I am not an affiliate with them. I'm not getting paid. Genuinely just met them for the first time, and I was like, wow, they're just very sweet people. And I was good. I tried to purchase a tumbler from them, and they wouldn't let me. They gifted me this, which made me feel so bad. But it was a very sweet gesture. This this particular uh, tumbler turner is perfect for rhinestoning because you control it manually. It's not an electrical one. And so as you can see, well, you can't really see, but with my left hand, I'm taking the little wheel and I'm turning the cup as I need to while I'm working. And let me tell you something right now, not having to physically hold the cup in my hand while I was rhinestoning made it so amazing because I always used to rhinestone holding my tumbler in my hand and either I would drop it or something would happen and I would move stones out of place. So this was really convenient. 10 out of 10, recommend this tumbler turner. 10 out of 10, recommend Dino's tumblers. They're the nicest people ever. I will tag their website. I will link their website in the description. Let them know that you're a baddie and that you saw this on my YouTube channel so that they know that we love them. To do the bottom of the tumbler, you want to follow the same process that you did for the rim. Now, remember, you always want to secure the edges of your tumblers because you don't want to rhinestone your whole tumbler, get to the very edge, and then realize that you don't have enough stones to fit those areas because then your edges are going to look very crooked like my eyebrows and that's not what you want, okay? That's not what you want. Just trust me. Look how pretty this is coming out. Okay, not me tooting my own horn. Tooty toot toot. The really beautiful like purple against the green against the black. Like I just, I'm, I'm obsessed with this. Like I love giving away my tumblers because you guys are the center of my universe. You guys are the reason I even have a YouTube channel. But I really want to keep this one, guys. I really, honey, stop snoring. I'm doing a voiceover. I really want to keep this one, guys. I really, truly do. But I will make one promise to you. I will make a special designated tumbler rhinestone specifically to give away here in my YouTube comments just because we just hit 30,000 subscribers. And hey, that's amazing. That's 30,000 of us. That's so many people. That's crazy. So that's literally how many cousins I have. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It was just a Mexican joke. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you're loving how this is turning out. I'm sorry that I couldn't have a finished product for you. It was driving me crazy, but hopefully you're still going to come back to watch my videos. Anyway, I hope to see you soon. Besitos. I love you.